Morning, Jana. It's Friday. I just caught the coffee so that it's fresh, so it's a pretty good day. Hello from the computer science building. And now from Panera, because the computer science building was too quiet. I really enjoy sunrises, and we'll appreciate that you showed me yours. So while I'm debriefing for the week, I'll do a voiceover on some of my favorite points of some of the footage that I shot Wednesday morning, when God was particularly rewarding to the humanity that decided to wake up that early. Disclaimer, what I did to get this was dangerous, and by all general considerations, stupid. Don't do what I do, kids. Additionally, sorry, mom. In response to your previous questions, yes, textbooks are all freaking expensive. Probably about the same as Slippery Rock. I get as many on PDF as possible, except my math books, because I want those useful buddies in physical form. I also buy them used, or if you have upperclassmen friends in your major, they can most likely let you buy their old copies for pretty cheap, at least cheaper than you can find elsewhere. There's also a website called Slugbooks that does pretty good price comparison of online stuff. I'll put a link in the description. On a less serious note, I would make a company that installs gondolas or T-bars up the hills in Oakland and other major hills and metropolises where people need to walk up regularly when it's negative 10 with wind chill, and I would charge $2 a pop and make a killing bit as to why I changed days to Friday for those at home who might care. This is my weekly itinerary and this impressive blob right here is Wednesday and it's flanked on either side by like quizzes, tests, papers, all of that fun stuff. I did not consider this whenever I originally chose Thursday and I tried it and I almost died. So Friday it is. Today's video is going to be me talking about the different aspects of music that I really enjoy because I have an internet connection and an opinion so why not. I love music a lot, which truthfully isn't rare or special, but I just particularly love the unique experience and the communicative capabilities that music possesses. I've always loved picking apart music in my head because in pretty much everything in life I really love detail and intricacies that just overlay each other. Last semester I had a class called History of Jazz and on the first day the professor described the band in a metaphor that I thought was really really cool. She described it in anatomical terms where the drums and the keys are the skeleton of the band where like they hold it up and are really important. She then went on to describe the bass as like the muscle and the actual substance of the song that controls where it goes. As a bassist, this pleased me greatly. She said everything else like horns or guitars or other string sections are the skin of the band body and they're just the pretty covering that make it real nice for everyone to look at. The fact that my mind could then run with this metaphor and extend it into seeing a band as like a living organism that has its own personality and quirks I really enjoyed. Another thing I've been musing about recently is the importance of silence and simplicity. Specifically, John Batiste's version of the Star Spangled Banner brought this to my attention. Batiste comes from a family of excellent jazz musicians and is an excellent pianist himself, and he's more than capable of blowing our minds with like intricate runs and leads. But in the song, he chooses his moments of dynamics and complexity, and he combines it really nicely with the simple integrity of the original song. He does it in a way that engages the listener into the deeper story of the song and really just maintains and captures their attention. I feel that like with a lot of today's music, everyone feels the need to play and be heard, and it all just kind of runs together and sounds like a hot, muddy mess that really just shows amateur inability to recognize the importance of structure. In summary, pay attention to details, sweat the small stuff, be creative, and just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Favorite content of the week? Highlights reel? For song of the week, we got Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus by Kevin Os Olusola. I'm trying a new thing called Geek of the Week, where I talk about, since I'm an engineer in school, a fun fact that I've learned. And this week, it's Entropy, because the science of chaos and its potential is just really, really fascinating, and I don't understand it. YouTube video is Thomas Sender's Sender Vine compilation because Thomas Sender's is the purest of Zen Minerals who makes really quality content and I watch it on repeat when necessary. Have a cool week, Jana, and don't forget to be awesome.